hello guys welcome to the channel and thank you very much for being here first of all I would like to ask you kindly to subscribe to my channel and help me grow help me grow I really need your support guys I don't have a job right now so I'm really asking you to subscribe to my channel thank you very much let's go to our solution well uh, guys I'm gonna make a substitution for to solve this problem to make the solution easier okay so uh, let's say this first root here is equal to A and then the second root here is equal to B so from here we have we taking both sides of the equations to the power of 5 so we're gonna have territory minus x equals to a to the 5 and uh, x equals to b to the 5 let me write this b kind um, b to the 5 okay so from here then if we make the substitution we know that a plus b is equal to 3 right and then from here we're gonna simplify this this we're gonna sum both sides side by side 33 equals to a to the 5 plus b to the 5 okay so let's say this is our first equation and this is our second equation let's simplify our second equation guys our second equation is a to the 5 plus b to the 5 and then um, this is equals to um, so okay um, equals to 8 a to the 5 this is this is 33 right so a to the 5 plus b to the 5 this is actually um, a plus b right we can write this as plus b a to the 4 minus a to the 3 b plus a square b square minus a b to the 3 and plus b to the 4 and then this is equal 33 but we know that a plus b a plus b here we come into this one here so we have then that this is going to be 3 which multiplies a to the 4 minus a to the 3 b plus a square b square minus a b to the 3 plus b to the 4 and then this is 3 33 is 3 times 11 right we cancel this one and this one so we have then a to the 4 minus a to the 3 b plus a square b square minus a b to the 3 plus b to the 4 and then this is equal 11 okay given this simplification let's call this one now let's say this is 3 right so let's pick our first equation here we, we have from out from 1 we have a plus b equals to 3 so we're gonna take both sides of the equation to the power of 3 to the power of a plus b is equal to 3 we have power 4 here we have power 4 here so we're gonna take this one to the power of 4 and this one to the power of 4 and we're gonna simplify at the end okay guys so now we, we have a plus b to the 4 we're gonna have that this is a to the 4 plus 4 a cube b plus 6 a square b square plus um, sorry plus 4a b to the 3 plus um, b to the 4 right and then this is equal to 81 which is 3 to the power of 4 and now our first equation here and then let's say um, well we have 3 here let's call this 4 now we're gonna make a system of this equation between with through we have 3 here and we have 4 right now I'm gonna say 4 minus 3 so simplifying we're gonna we're gonna have what let's just organize this guys um, let me rewrite this we're gonna have then three I mean four right um, equation four which is this one a to the four actually to save some space some time I'm just gonna say this is a system between these two a to the four minus a to the three b plus a square b square and then minus a b to the 3 plus b to the 4 and then this is equal to 11 this is 4 and this is 3 this is 4 and this is 3 so we're doing 4 minus 3 so we're gonna have from here this minus this this is 0 this will be 0 and this sorry 
and this one and this one will be zero so this minus this we're gonna have 5a to the 3b this minus this plus 5a square b square sorry let me write my my b correctly um, we have then b square and then plus here we're gonna have 5ab to the 3 and 81 minus 11 we gonna have 70 right we're gonna have 70 okay cool so um, fortunately 70 is divided by 5 so we can divide both sides of the equation by 5 so we're gonna divide by 5 we're gonna have here what uh, this is actually 5 which multiplies a to the 3 b plus um, a square b square plus a b to the 3 and then this is uh, 5 times 14 right so this one goes with this one so we're gonna have a to the 3 b plus a square b square plus a b to the 3 and then this is equal 14 and then here guys we can simplify this by saying um, we can say here that well okay let's let's factor a b here we're gonna have a square plus a b plus b square equals 14 so we have to have then a b this one here if we want to complete this square this is a square plus 2 a b plus b square and then we have to take minus a b here which is going to be equal 14 so we have then a b which multiplies and then this one is a perfect square which is a plus b right square minus a b and then this is equal 14 so from here we have then that but we know that we know that this one is 3 right so we're gonna have then that a b which multiply 3 to the power of 2 is 9 minus a b right let me bring this minus 14 to the side so we have then that um, 9 ab minus a b square minus 14 equals 0 and then from here organizing this term we just multiply by negative 1 both sides so we're gonna have a b to the power of 2 minus 9 a b and plus 14 then this is going to be zero so this is our second degree equation in which now we can solve this guys uh, we can actually factor out this equation so this is actually a b right just uh, this is a b minus um, minus seven which multiplies a b minus two okay perfect that's it so we have then a b minus 7 equals 0 and a b minus 2 equals 0 and then from here we have a b equals 7 or a b equals 2 and now we have to get back that uh, we're gonna say then that we're gonna have two systems here first one we're gonna have a plus b equals 3 and a b equals 2 and then the second one here we're gonna have a b equals 7 and a plus b equals 3 right this is the same thing no it's not the same thing <laughs> sorry so guys from here solving our first equation here so I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna multiply this by negative a so we're gonna have then minus a square minus a b equals negative 3 a and then here we have a b right equals 2 so this one goes with this one and we send this one to the side of the equation so we're gonna have a square minus 3 a adding up them we're gonna have plus 2 equals 0 and then from here we have then that this is a minus 1 which multiplies a minus 2 equals 0 right and then from here we have a minus 1 equals 0 and a minus 2 equals 0 so which is a1 equals 1 and a2 equals 2 okay cool perfect let's go to this side here so following the same step here I'm gonna multiply by negative a and at the end we're gonna get 
um, a squared minus 3a plus 7 equals 0 and we're gonna have here our delta is gonna be less than 0 so we're gonna have imaginary solutions and for this one here we're gonna have um, a equals to 3 plus or minus I mean sorry we're gonna have 3 minus o plus um, square root of 19 i divided by 2 and b here is going to be um, 3 plus or minus square root of 19 i divided by 2 okay cool we have not much we don't have much interest in these solutions so I'm gonna get back to this intentionally I left to sell to solve the, the the value of B here so if a is 1 right we know that a B is equal to if a is 1 so B1 is gonna be from here we're gonna have B1 equals 2 2 if a is 1 okay and from here we're gonna have that a B is equal to so we have that our b is equal to 1 our b2 okay so guys uh, pretty interesting now we have to get back in the beginning to find the value of of x right remember that we say this here we said here that 33 minus x is equal to a to the 5 and x is equal to b to the 5 so to avoid more calculations I'm gonna get this one here okay so x is equal to b to the 5 so uh, x is equal to b to the 5 so from here then we have that and uh, let me trust this color this is not a, this is not so good so we're gonna have then guys that um, then x sorry we're gonna have then let me change the color to black so we're gonna have that x1 is gonna be b1 to the 5 so x1 is gonna be 2 to the 5 and x1 is gonna be 32 okay cool and then uh, our x2 will be equals to b2 to the power of 5 so we're gonna have our x2 equals to what equals to 1 which is because our b2 is 1 1 to the 5 is 1 so guys this is our second solution so our real solutions are x1 equals 32 and x2 equals 1 okay so guys this is the solution and if we want low oh, oh there is something missing missing here so guys remember that we can actually solve the other part here so applying these values of 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 uh of of b here replacing sorry replacing this the values of b in this equation here i mean down here let me just take this one here to okay so if we we take uh, the values of b this this value here to find the 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 value of x we're gonna have that x is gonna be equals to i mean x uh three and four is gonna be equals to three plus or minus square root of 19 i divided by 2 to the power of 5 so i've i've made this and in the calculator obviously right to save to save some time so this gave us um um 33 plus or minus 59 square root of 19 i all divided by 2 okay guys so this is these are our full solutions for this problem guys please subscribe to the channel I really hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you next video please drop down a comment and tell me how you would proceed to solve this problem and see you next time bye bye